Here's the backside of, the, of Lolita's Whale Stadium. This is a place that they don't want the public to see. This is back in the maintenance area. There you can see Lolita's tank there. There's a show going on in there at this time. There's probably two or 300 people sitting in the grandstand. There's a picture of some of the piping, some of the cracking in the concrete up there with the construction jacks holding them up. You can see there's a terrible leak there that keeps it wet, there's algae growing. Those are the temporary construction jacks they had actually holding up the grandstand. It was in such a state of decay. You can see they have blocks of wood, they have sheets of plywood. There's so many of those construction jacks, it was almost like a forest under there. You had to weave your way through them. As you can see, they're just standing everywhere. And there's water standing everywhere, too. Just the, the, the mechanics running under here creates a noise level that is literally, it can almost make you nauseous, it's so, it's so uh, strong. This truly is a, uh, a facility that has outlived its time. To the right, you'll see that this is where the entire bank of electrical boxes are for the entire whale stadium, and there's a a sign that says danger high voltage. You can see that crack in one of the main support beams runs the entire length of the beam. You can see again construction jacks everywhere supporting the load that's trying to fall. Here's one of three windows in the Lolita's tank that they don't want the public to see. That's the second window, the middle window, that's leaking to the point to where algae's growing on the window. And here I am leaving after going under there and letting you see what Lolita truly lives in. If those grandstands are allowed to collapse and there's people in there, that will be truly a killer whale stadium. They don't want to find anything wrong at these facilities because then they have to go deal with it. So the inspectors are walking around basically deaf, dumb, and blind, in my opinion. They don't want to find anything wrong. So they're just trying to ignore the fact that Lolita is the worst kept killer whale in the Americas and probably the world. Russ's video was taken in August of 1995. Two weeks later, the high voltage sign was simply painted over. In more recent footage, it does appear that the stadium is finally undergoing some repairs, but the jacks are still there, and so are the leaks. <laughs>